as I walked down the main street of Tbilisi, I saw a woodcarver under an arcade, hard at work carving a small tray. Some of his wares were displayed for sale. I was most attracted to the tray on which the woodcarver was working. So I asked. How much is the tray? It's not finished yet. When will it be finished? In a couple of days. Then you can buy it. I'd like to buy it now, even with the carving still not finished. What is the price if I buy it now unfinished? I was, of course, expecting a discounted price. He responded. It is not for sale now. His curt reply irritated me. I had expressed interest in his work, was willing to buy it unfinished, and he gave my offer not a moment's consideration. I felt an impulse to insult his work, to insult him, or just to walk away. But instead, I took a deep breath. I realized that I was feeling unappreciated. And then it dawned on me. The carver probably felt unappreciated, too. My behavior had perhaps been no better than his. He might well have felt emotions very much like my own, he said. If I were to sell the tray now, the price would have to be higher. I asked, surprised, why? He turned to me, smiled, and said, Selling the tray today would deprive me of the pleasure of finishing it. Now I smiled. I'm leaving Tbilisi in the morning. I admire the tray. I admire your work. And now, more than ever, I want the tray to remind me of the carver who takes such pride in his work, and such satisfaction, in doing, it right. He smiled again, but said nothing. So I asked. In view of my necessary trip, would you do a favor to a traveling stranger by letting me buy the tray today, unfinished, at the same price, that it would be were you to finish it? After a few moments of thinking, he accepted my offer. This story is quoted from the book, Beyond Reason, Using Emotions as You Negotiate, co-written by Roger Fisher and Daniel Shapiro. We must not forget that most problems in human relations, including negotiations, arise from a lack of respect for the other.